here's the 19th episode of the 5th series of the Adventures of Father, in which Arthur continues with looking for some more catalogs mini games on GBC One. Hello everybody and welcome to the 19th episode of my own show, The Fifth Series. Right then viewers, now you may remember on 13th episode back when we looked at some catalog series, serial CD-ROMs, you know, with Asterix and 4 minigame. But this time, we're going to look for more, we're going to have a look at some more catalog minigames. Woohoo! So which ones are we going to go for this time? Well, Arthur, uh, you know you, don't, you haven't seen Lucky Luke yet, have you? No. And I know you haven't seen Action Man Destruction X, but we're not going to bother with that one, because it may be a bit too much. But uh, besides, it won't work on my laptop, won't it? No, it won't. But Lucky Luke, what does? Oh, oh yeah, and with some others that you get from other CD-ROMs back in the day. Uh, and which ones are they? Well, I believe um, it'll be... Taz Wanted, because that was like a promo disc from Kellogg's. Ah, well, it's not in UK, is it? No, Arthur, of course not. It'll be either released in USA or something. Oh, I see. Alright then, and, um, what else? Well, there's the, uh, Scooby Skateboarding that you get with Ultimate Ride back then. Oh, so that's about three, yeah? Yeah, that's right, and that's it. No more until there's, till there's more. That's fine. Hey, Chris! Hey, it's time to look at some more minigames again! Oh, alright, mate. Charlie! <laughs> Hello, everybody! Right, here I am, once again! Alright, mate! Yeah, yeah I'm alright. Uh, thank you, Crash, for asking. So, we're gonna look at three more catalogs minigames, starting with Taz Wanted. Oh, Taz Wanted? Oh, I remember this demo uh, for PS2 very well. Uh, is it on PC this time, George? Yes, it's on PC. Oh, oh, Crash, you'll love the PC demo. And besides, well, I found it on Internet Archive as well as the others. Really? Yes, really. Ooh, that's special. Well, see you first for when George shows us. And say with me, add me free. Right, take it away. Right then, Crash and Arthur. Right, now the first game that we're going to do, and this is the game demo of Taz Wanted. Right, Crash, now... Do you remember looking at Taz Wanted on a PS2 demo disc back then? Yeah, I remember. Well, this is a PC version. Uh, that was from Kellogg Steels back in the day. But it's not released in the UK. It's probably released somewhere in the USA or other countries. Oh, uh, alright then, mate. Yeah, but at least I know for what that is. Oh, what is it? It says, there's a sign guaranteed to drive you cuckoo. Oh, yeah. Probably one of those Taz Wanted posters. Yeah, that's right, Crash. It is. Mm. Oh yes, and I remember the sandwiches very well. Mm. And they're very tasty. Oh yeah, I remember Taz. Ooh, that was the one who used to be on Jordan the Herbert. Yeah, that's right, Crash, because you and I, you and Taz have come a long way since then. Uh, yeah. You're turning me. Oh yes, and I remember these boxes as well. Uh, those were all punch gloves. Yeah, that's right, Crash. They were punch gloves. And look at that, uh, Crash, that Taz has been captured by that zookeeper. Oh, right. So, in this game, well, this is a demo, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that's right, Crash. It is a demo. Oh, yeah. Very true. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. Oh, yeah, I do. No, I do, uh, Crash. Believe me, I've only been playing these geek PC game demos, well, ever since I started on a lockdown. Oh. So, George, what's all this talk about the lockdown? Ah, well, could you see, Crash? Well, when um, No Hair and uh, Arthur have first talked about the coronavirus. <gasps> coronavirus? Oh dear. Is that a bit serious, George? Yes, it's a very serious thing. Very, very serious? Yes, Crash? Very, very serious. Very, 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 very serious? Yes, very serious, Crash. Very, very. 
Yes, Crash, enough already. I get it. Alright, then. So anyway, Gorton, why does Taz keep collecting sandwiches for? It's not like he's hungry. Well, he is hungry, and he also likes to spin. Oh, yes, I remember the spin, because that's the same thing as I always do. Like this. Oh, yes, I remember what you said, up Crash, because that was part of a spin attack. So you and Taz are, are, are both in common. Oh, and I also remember, in the Crash Bandicoot Out and About series, on the ninth episode, that you've gone out with the garden with Taz this time. Oh, yes, mm, that was the one when it was me and Taz together. Uh, yeah, that's right, Crash. That's right. And now that you're here to make a return, well, glad to have you back, uh, Crash. Oh, thanks, mate. Oh, and anyway, uh, Crash, um, because that the, um, Arthur is organising a teddy bear's picnic for all the bears again, but, not, not, but this time, without no hair bear this time. Do you remember, Crash, you passed away? Yes, I remember very well. And I feel a bit sorry for him. Oh, yeah. And I also feel a bit sorry for Ar Arthur, too. Ah, oh, thanks, Sir Crash. Hey, did you hear that, Arthur? Crash, however, felt sorry for you. Ah, oh, thanks, Crash. Well, I knew you'd say those nice things in the end. So, anyway, mate, so what does Taz dressed up as? Well, he was dressed up as a DJ. What do you mean when that goes... Pop up the volume, pop up the volume. Like that? Yes, Crash. Just like that. Oh, I want to see if there's another zookeeper there. I want to see if he's just keen on doing some spot of dancing with beatbox. Oh, yeah. And I see that you attacked him. Yeah, good job, George. Thank you. Oh, and did I also forget, Reg, that after that you attacked me, um, zookeeper, you can now bounce onto his belly. Ooh. Uh, don't worry, George, I'm not going to bother to do it on your belly, because I know you're not dead yet. Ah, well, that's because I'm a young man, remember, Crash? Oh, yeah, I see. Ah, well, Cinemetheus, this game might take a while. All right, then, you two. Well, it's been a couple of minutes now, so we're going to quit the demo now and move on to the next one. Okay. Ooh, so what's the next game demo, then? Well, the next one is going to be Disney's Extremely Goofy Skateboard, and it's a preview, too. Wow. Uh, let me guess, George. Uh, that's not part of the mini game series, is it? Uh, no, because that was released in the USA and other countries. Oh, I see. Oh, uh, G George, uh, do you used to play that game at your old school? Well, I did first discover that they do have it in schools, but I didn't play it at my old school back then. I used to borrow it and play my play that game on my old computer at back at my old house. Wow, oh, so you've had a good time with that one, haven't you? Yeah, that's right, Arthur. It is. Now, and Arthur, do you remember watching a goofy movie? With an extremely goofy movie as well? Uh, yes, George, I remember both of these movies very well. Well, you've never seen this game before, Arthur, so this was the first time for you to see it. Ah, okay then. Ooh, when I see we've got different worlds and different cores. That's right, it is. But the only mode that we got is Urban Streets. Oh. Okie dokie. Ooh, and he's got a skateboard. Now, we do have Goofy and Max, but I'm selecting Goofy because that's part of mm, Goofy's skateboard. Alright, so what do you do on these um, objectives? Well, the first one, however, would be collecting 50 co a lot of these coins. Oh, what you mean if it's a bit, even if it's Goofy coins? Yes, even if it's a Goofy coin. And the other objectives are, is knocking over the mailbox, like that. Wow. And what happened? And what's the other one? Well, the other one is collecting six of those newspapers. What, you mean the one that's lying on the ground? Uh, yeah, that's right, Arthur. It is. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I guess you used to play that one a lot when you were very, well, well, not when you were little, is it? No, Arthur, not when I was little, though. Only when I used to discover it. Ah, oh, right. Well, I see you've collected a lot so far. Ooh. Well, I'm so proud of you, George. Ah, oh, thanks, Arthur. I knew you'd say that in the end. And besides, I used to play that a lot. Ah, oh, what, on a computer? 
Yes, on the computer. Oh, well, as long as you're happy you're replaying this one. Uh, you never played the demo version before, have you? No, I haven't, uh, Arthur. But I played the full version, but never the demo. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, and I guess you've done... Oof! Is Goofy alright? Yeah, he's alright, but luckily he's got a safety helmet and some safety knee pads. Oh, well, well, that was a bit of a bright and cuss blat. <laughs> cuss blat. <laughs> get it, George? Yes, I get you, Arthur. Cuss blat. <laughs> uh, and of course, Arthur, now, there is one thing that you should not do, though, when you're skateboarding. What's that, then? Well, if you go straight into a wall, you'll end up crashing the thing you fell down on the ground slowly. Ah, oh, is that what happens when, when you skate a bit, well, too fast and then go straight into a wall? Yep. For when you're not looking where you're going. But I'm sure you'll find that out. Oh, and of course, that's not how it happens. Because it's just usually fell off a skateboard and then end up hurting the back. Oh, right. Uh, don't worry, Alpha. We'll get to that bit later. And besides, I'm just going to focus on collecting all the coins, knocking off the newspapers and letter boxes. Ooh. Well, I'm looking forward to see what you do when you don't look which way you're going. <laughs> Alright, so how many more um, newsletters and... Um, Newspapers. Ah, I think it meant letter boxes. Oh yeah, letter boxes and uh, newspapers to knock off. Well, two more to go, Arthur. <sighs> okay, and how many coins? Well, 25 left to go. And then, that's all the objectives complete. Ooh. Oh yeah, and uh, what did you do with the red fountain then? Ah, well, I had to knock you over and let the water out. Oh, what, so that you can collect even more coins? Uh, yep. That's right. Well, one more of these two to go, and then that's all the objective. And see, that's the first objective complete. Wow. Well, good job, George. Well, it's just one letter box now, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that's right, Crash. I mean, Arthur. That's right. <laughs> Alright, so I guess you're going to find some more coins first, aren't you? Uh, yeah, for a start. Wow. Okay, then. Hmm. <laughs> I can see that you're doing lots of tricks whilst you're at it. Uh, yeah, that's right, uh, Arthur. It is. Mm. Oh, and I see you've now got 19 coins to go. No, 18. 17 left. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm going to come back to collect some more coins first before doing one more um, newsletter. Oh dear, George, you fell in. Oh, don't worry about that, Arthur. Goofy doesn't seem to mind. And he can still skateboard whilst he's underwater as well. Did you know that? Oh no, I don't think I did. Well, that's two objectives complete. Alright then, George. So, um, should we let the viewers up, um, have a look at your coin collecting? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, besides, ten more coins to go. And then that's it. Okay, well, see you viewers. And I'll let you viewers have a look at the rest of it.
All right, guys. Right, see? Here we are. So, we're now... Oh, and that's all the objectives complete now. Oh, all right. Well, well done, George. You're a master of this, aren't you? Yeah, I am, Arthur. All right, then. Now, before I go over to the, um, the exit point, I will show you to find out why we have to look which way we're going. All right. We're looking forward to this. Oh, ho, ho, ho. right in the mush. Oh, and I see it's turned flat. Well, at least I know now not to go straight into a wall because you'll end up crashing. Hmm, just like a car too. Right, so is that the demo finished now? Nearly up, uh, Arthur. Yeah, just a key bit now and then we can go through. And see, that's the preview finished. And it says, hope you enjoyed the preview. For more fun, check out Disney's Extremely Scoofy Skateboarding CD-ROM. And see, I used to play that. Right, well, cinema viewers, once again. Right, then, Crash and Arthur, last one. And we're now on to the UK game of Lucky Luke, the minigame. Oh, okay. Ooh, I want to see how to control your character in a demo. And you know, there's all the control pads. Yeah, that's right, the keyboard. And see... There's Lucky Luke himself. Oh, I want to see if there's a horse there. Oh, well, I didn't realise a horse could talk. And what's he talking about? Well, he was talking about a green four-leaf clover. Oh, what's a four-leaf clover? Well, a four-leaf clover brings good luck to when it comes to a gunfight like this one. Oh, so I take that Lucky Luke has been around in comics and cartoons. Yeah, that's right, um, Arthur. That's right, because it's one of the best westerns ever. Even if it's a cartoon. Oh, I want to see if this, uh, that bad guy. Oh, don't worry about that. I used to play that on a PS1 demo, but never the full version. Oh, I see. Well, this is a very fun game. Right then, so I'm going to find some more um, four-leaf clovers. Okay. I want to see if I'm free so far. Ooh, that's good. I want to see you're going to go through there. Yep. To shot to fight off some more bad guys. Ooh. Right, you're going to shoot the left one, aren't you? Yep. And then the right one to finish off. But, of course, there's only eight more bad guys to defeat. And then, that's all the bad guys finished. Ooh. What, even if they're minced meat? Uh, yep. Minced meat. Meat. Bang, 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 bang. Boom, boom. Shoot, shoot. Wow, I think I like this game so far. Hmm. And it's much better than Crash Bandicoot any day. Uh, no offense to you, Crash. Not taken, mate. Ooh, so this is Lucky Luke, is it, George? Uh, yeah, that's right, Crash. It is. And uh, don't worry, Arthur. I finished it now. And see, there's that bottle. Uh, that's like something, something to do with hot sauce. Ah, hot sauce? Ooh, I wonder what happened. Ah, well, there's the trees in the way. Blocking away. Oh, so what's Lucky Luke going to do? Well, what I'm going to do now is let go of the power up so that that Luke can get through using his hot breath. Oh, what, using the bottle that you picked up? Yep, the ones that I picked up. Ooh, okie dokie. Ah, here we go. Oh, that is very hot stuff. Oh, well, he's going to pour it on all over the trees. Yeah, because trees attract fire. Wow. Well, yeah, yeah, it's a good thing they don't have um, orange and red flames, do they? Why no, they the don't, Arthur. But luckily, <laughs> Lucky Luke gets through now. And look, there's four-leaf clovers again. Wow. Well, I'm so lucky <laughs> to see Lucky Luke. <laughs> Get it, George? You're lucky to see Lucky Luke. Oh, yeah, good joke, Arthur. I knew you'd say that. <laughs> Oh yeah, and that game was called Western Fever, by the way. Oh, is that what it's called? Not just Lucky Luke? Uh, yep, it's called Western Fever. <sighs> hmm, I wonder what happens when you got killed. Ah, we'll find out soon. Alright, well, cinematic viewers. Alright then, you two. Right, I'm nearly finished with this demo, but I'll probably get a game over. Oh, uh, that's fine. Yeah, we've seen enough of it, haven't we, uh, Arthur? Yeah, that's right, Crash. It is. All right, then. Oh, I want to see Lucky Duke has got his hands up now. Well, see in a bit. All right, you two. Well, that's pretty much all we can show you for the uh, mini catalog 
games now, but I don't miss any more. Ah, uh, that's fine. Yeah, I agree with Arthur for once. Right, well, I better say goodbye now. Bye bye, dear viewers. See you soon. Bye! And bye bye for me, Arthur the White Bear. Oh, yeah, and of course, we'll see you in the 20th episode for the Teddy Bear's Picnic. And I'm gonna be the leader. Yeah, as soon as my granddad's gone. See you there. <laughs> and bye bye for me, George Buxton. Bye bye, everyone.